Okay, our textiles section of our sewing focuses on how we get fabric in the first place from fibers to yarn to textiles themselves. The important vocabulary to know is that textile includes all of our other definitions. So it's, textiles are fibers, textiles are yarn, textiles are fabric. A fiber is what fabric is made from. It comes from a natural or a man-made resource, like little fluffs of cotton or wool or other things. Oops. Yarns are when we take those little fibers, those little fluffs, and we start twisting them together. Once we twist them together, it makes them thicker and stronger. If you've heard of spinning, this is the idea of spinning. And then fabric is when we take our yarns, our twisted together fluffs of fiber, and we weave or we knit them together to create a solid fabric thing. So think about any of your shirts and stuff, they're solid bits of fabric, not little bits of fluff or slightly twisted together yarns. Those are used to make the fabric itself. There are different types of fibers. We start with natural fibers. Natural fibers are fibers that occur naturally and we can harvest and use them. They come from animals and from plants. Those are our two different sources of our natural fibers. So we've got the fluff of cotton, silk from silkworms, wool from sheep, and flax as well. So our two animal sources are wool from sheep, but it can also come from rabbits, llamas, alpacas, and all sorts of other locations. Silk comes from silkworms. It's those little fibers that they spin to make their cocoons. We just take apart their cocoons to have our silk. On Canvas, there is a link to this video on sheep shearing and how to take the wool and actually turn it into fabric, please watch this video clip. Additionally, there is also a video clip on how we get silk from the silkworms. Please watch that video clip as well. Our plant sources are flax, this reed-like looking plant that if we take off the outer shell, ends up being all these soft strands inside, and cotton which is the fluffy part of the cotton flower on the cotton plant that we then can take those short fluffy pieces and turn them into fabric as well. For both of these, I have a flax video clip on the canvas course, as well as a cotton video clip on the canvas course. Please watch both of these. Our synthetic fibers, sometimes called manufactured or man-made fibers, are fibers that we make from chemicals or proteins and recycled materials. Examples of synthetic fibers include rayon, polyester, acetate, acrylic, nylon, and spandex. We made synthetic fibers to mimic our natural fibers in a process to make that's a little bit quicker and more sustainable than our natural sources. I have a video for the polyester fibers on the canvas course. Please watch that as well. Next, we're going to talk about fabric construction. This is where we take our wool or spun fibers that are yarns and we're going to actually turn them into fabric. One of our first types of fabric is called woven fabric. It's when we take our yarn and we go and just interlock it back and forth. So we have multiple yarns going up and down and multiple yarns going back and forth. Characteristics of a woven fabric is it's very strong and easy to sew. It's not going to stretch or slide around too much underneath the sewing machine. Examples for it would be like buttoned up shirts, dresses, and jeans. 
So you do a one over, one under crisscrossing pattern, kind of like a checkerboard, and it's called a plain weave. Or you could do a satin weave where you go over one and then glide under about eight, and then you go over one again, and then shift over each row. This creates a smooth, shiny surface because it sees the one that glides crossed. You could do a basket weave where you take two over, two under, two over, two under. Or you could do a twill weave, which is over two, under two, over two, under two, using one yarn, and it shifts for each row. So it goes over two, under two, and then over here we shift down once it's going over and under. This is what tends to get ridges. If you have a pair of jeans that's a twill weave, you can run your finger across it and your fingernail will bump on each of those different rows. And ultimately it looks kind of like this. This is a much easier visual. You could even do a pile weave. This is kind of like carpet where you do a normal plain weave, then you add a third yarn that's lifted so it sticks up out of the fabric kind of like this. This is more like velvet. Another type of fabric, fabrication method, is called a knit. A knit is when we take one single yarn, just one, and we loop it through itself over and over again. Characteristics of it is it stretches, that means it is more comfortable to wear. It returns to its original shape after being stretched and usually is resistant to wrinkles. Examples would be t-shirts or other activewear like yoga pants. It can also be lace, jersey knits, rib knits, velour, or fleece. See these different V's? Those are different loops that have been looped together. Our third fabrication type is called a non-woven. This is where we skip the yarn step and we take just fibers and we just bring our fibers together and smash them together with heat and glue. Characteristics of it then would be there is no grain. It doesn't stretch or give if you pull on it. It will tear apart usually and requires special sewing techniques because it is very weak. Examples would be felt or dryer sheets. You have a dryer sheet, go grab one and pull on it and see what happens. A lot of medical gowns and face masks are made non-woven method. Those are our three types of fabrication and our natural and synthetic fibers.